They're crispy, good to go. Oh, nice! Oh, now we are in there. It's a little bit of a local, you guys. We got the gameplay going. Okay, goes in. Oh, uh, hits with the Alpha Blade again. Mm -hmm. Turnover. Gets hit by the BD, goes right into the low. Oh, uh, tries to back forward in order to make some form of reversal. Oh, uh, tries to confirm off of Harry hit, but it doesn't work, but does get the plus frames off the projectile. That is a thing off of that super. When that does hit, you do get to move before your opponent does on block stun, but that's not gonna matter, because he gets hit into the wall splat, into the corner. Oh. That could have been very disgusting uh, whip punish that that happened from that kick if uh, he was a little bit closer. And that's going to be another hit confirm again into the wall. Confirm into super. Spend that cash. I got some bison tokens. I like it. Lot is going to be going up around. Most of those people over there blocks that setup. Ooh, but allows that uh, projectile load up to rock. And just uh, growing good at like controlling like the pressure from there, but gets the wood punch off of that kick button. Nice. Oh, but then he drifts backwards, and then he goes and cheats. Takes it, grabs him over from that cross up though. That was very good. Nice. Oh, wow, that DP actually hit though. That was crazy. All right, gets hit by the storm. Reset. Oh no, he would have been able to get a counter hit off of that throw with. Especially if that heavy button would have hit in time. But just hits him off with the approach. Lucky he had a personal to control it. Red RC, what's he going to do? Dumps him again. Honest game. Oh, oh, no, it's not honest. These guys are throwing out some drop kick into a DP because he anticipated him excelling. Crazy stuff. D. Lee, is a, D. Lee has, this, has this point where like he knows how to be calculated, but he can also be nutty at the same time. It's actually pretty good. He's calling out all these players, noticing their tendencies having confidence in his decision making. This is what makes like an opponent in like a guilty against drive bracket inside of a winner's side of grand finals. Blocks the, blocks the low, low into the overhead. Good stuff for him. Not enough in order to like initiate his turn. And this is just a such good play. They're not getting hit by any scrambly things. All the pressure is fairly tight. Blocking correctly. Oh, right until he gets hit right over there. Commentator's curse. Drop kick over there off of the back dash. It's amazing. Red RC gets the follow up. What's going to be the mix? Block the overhead. Goes for the tech throw. Tries to anti him with the 6P. Close, and this is not going to be enough based on the scaling. But he decides the burst anyway. Okay. Oh, the drop kick is going to hit him from that stance. Continues it. Oh, but the whiff. This is not dancing around each other, and it's going to be Light Ice that steals it with the throw, taking the first game. Tense stuff. Tense stuff indeed. Oh, it's like senior year having to take the SAT when it's determined in the rest of your life. Uh, I wonder how that worked out. Okay, going here, commentating fighting games. All right, guys, going into the pressure to the screen, crossing up. Nice. Goes through the drop kick. It's the shenanigans of the DP. It's my turn always. Nice. Nice anti air off the side of that uh, diagonal alpha blade. Goes into the blender right now. Goes into forward. Changes off a back turn. Oh, that was a nice punish. I'm so glad he, he still tried to commit to that punish. I'm so glad he didn't not second guess that because of the DP attempt after that in the first exchange. But he does get DP there. All right, what's the projectile hit? Dashes up and. Oh, ooh, but he does the PRC and he tried to whip punish, but he wasn't aware of the meter resources. That was such an early exchange. Like I said, he does know how to be a nut, but at the same time. Can be solid as well. Oh, but the Invincible Frames beats out that cross up. Unfortunately, he recovered in time in order to punish him. This is such a tight niche game. They're both going black and forth, trying to find their way to make this scrabble work. No board game. Okay. Great RC, plus frames. Dumps over the command grab. Nice stuff. Nice decision making. Hits him. But he baits the burst. The red RC showed the startup of the burst in time. That's going to be plus. Hits the overhead. Wall splat. He does have one more time. But now Dealey can afford to be a little bit judicious. Gets his uh, main gauge and just danced around it. And that was good because he whiffed. He did have the potential, Light Ice did, in order to PRC it to like not give himself an opening. Uh, but he didn't use it in that setting because he didn't think he could punish. Uh, but he tried to walk back. Got hit by that low. Sacrificed that round in that sex. Now that's going to be one to one. Very good set that I'm looking at so far. 
quick stance change. I don't know what the purpose of that was, but got exposed over with a little bit of check into the counter. But it's not going to matter because they're both fighting out of... Oh, wow, a manual back turn. Baits out the burst right again. This guy's a genius. It's going to be a PRC. Juggle. Oh, we'll try to go for the BD, but he just gets it by the Gamma. Oh, he's got to be kicking himself for not making that a wall splat confirm. And this is where Light Ice is going to be needing, but gets caught for walking back as he gets another bar for the Red RC. Juggle into the combo. Scaling on that was a little bit of trust, especially. The Guts does matter, but he does get the anti-air with the back turn punch. How he was able to see where he was coming from, I will never know. They call him the White Fang for a reason. Drop kick. Goes to the Commandy. Nice. Checks him over at, like everybody. Maybe he was trying to check him with an invisible reversal, but that is an air tight. Close to air tight. There's a little bit of a gap in the frame, but he was just checking because he was not respecting the plus frames off of that. But now he has to respect this super into the wall splat. Good. Has a little bit of life for the resource. It's almost not worth it to even burst in this. Oh, no. That second part doesn't even hit, but he just gets hit by the jump out cross up. One to one. Will Light Ice be able to itch itself closer and closer to making a, a momentous bracket reset? Or would D. Lee just be able to take the entire bracket with his expert play so far? A little bit of Potemkin, but mostly Leo White Fang. Doesn't able to mix it up. Oh, try to jump out of it, but he's just getting hit by any and everything. Cross-ups, corner cross-ups, corner fake cross-ups. Gets whipped out in the buttons in neutral. Sends him over towards the corner. Oh, gets hit by the low. Oh, but he's able to drop kick him from there. Red RC, Staggers, solid defense from Light Ice, and he's able to check him, and it's looking like his game to go, and yes it is, Light Ice is going to be going up one game, one more game into a bracket, reset. Dealey has got to slow his roll down, find some way and somehow to contain Light Ice inside of this set right over here, but he's going to be going into the round immediately, seeing what the game is going to be out, fourth game, nice. Mm, checks over the uh, double walkthrough shenanigans. That was very great on him with that heavy button. Ooh, goes to the check into the immediate DP. And again, these are still nice DP choices that is coming from Date Lee, but it's not enough to be able to contain the pressure once Light Ice gets in on his terms. BRC immediately goes with a just block, but it's not going to matter much because he goes into the stacker afterwards. Probably was trying to go for an exposed on the two-frame uh, grab since he was so close on the uh, IB. Not going to work out. All right, that's another wall spot. He just got hit. The round just happened. He's going to gain meter immediately. This is going to look so good for his momentum. And of course, since he's getting hit, probably going to have this combo confirm and probably going to have the opportunity to go for another round, especially when you get another wall splat into a positive bonus. So the meter gain is just going to continue, even though it's passive. And it's going to be enough for the red RC. Has to bait it. Again, tried to bait the burst, and he did. He got the successful bait burst, and Light Ice is going to reset the bracket. Another set he is going to have to play, but now this set is going to determine who is our actual tournament champion. D. Lee dropped no set except the one that he just dropped there, and we're going immediately back into it. And the momentum is, of course, in his favor. He's got his real boy over here. He said, forget a Kai right now. I'm the chip. Nice. Oh, I'm so glad he was able to block there. Usually Light Ice, uh, both of them dash up from like mid-screen and he puts like a longer button out there and he's able to get a hit confirm into his records. But now D. Lee is able to drop the, oh wow. As he lagged the block hit from there. Oh, and that's the sequence he didn't go for yet. Oh, and he went the in and out. Ooh, that's one of my favorite Southern restaurants, but it's just gonna hit from right over there. Nice. Okay. Oh, tick throw into grab, into the cancel, into the game. Nice. Nice stuff. And Dealey doesn't look too shaken. He's trying to fight back in this sense. Good punish. Nice consistent punish. He could have went for a reversal move over there. I'm glad he didn't. I uh, mean, he did in that setting. A little bit too confident on that. Nice jab off of that uh, Alpha Blade. Outmaneuvered him with that, that DP. Oh, didn't get the set that he wanted, but tried to go into the, the check. And I understand where the parry came from. Of course, when you move a move, you want to, like, take your turn back. Oh, that's going to be a punish. You want to take your turn back, especially, like, when you're coming out from uh, Wake Up, and then you want to be able to press buttons. But Light Ice knowing how to be more patient than that. Oh, and he backdash against the throw. So good from him. 
Gonna be evening up the rounds. Light Ice potentially trying to take back his third game that he'll be winning in this set. Oh, if he can, it'll be so good. Oh, Wiggles backwards. Goes into the back turn, goes into the other turn. Now he does that again. That's the new meta that he's establishing right over here. He wasn't doing it over in his winner's run, but now he's changing the way that he's hitting. Oh, and that's a wall splat. So optimal. So optimal from Light Ice. In order to do the drift upwards, knock down, do the exchange for the combo, put him towards the corner, and then get that wall splat. Now he's getting the positive meter gain, especially since he's getting the combo confirmed. So smart. One more hit, one more straight hit, and it's going to be the end. But, oh, yeah, and I was going to say, even if he does whiff, Dealey does have to play around the fact that he is going to be able to do a PRC, but not going to matter as Chip hits the Shadow Clone Jutsu into a Xanath Barrage, going up on his third game. Let's go back straight into it. Okay, oh, that last hit of the hit just hits him over there. That is a strange move in order to hit on the way down. That hits everywhere and nowhere. Backdash just try to get away from the pressure after blocking the overhead. Six speed works out. Okay, hits him off the straight hit. He thought the stack would be enough in order to check him. Nice. Oh, but he hits the beta blade. OTGs. Oh, and he goes with the same media again. Gets checked hardcore. And what I do like, it does seem like from a mental standpoint that D. Lee still believes that he's in this, but Light Ice is coming, is coming out on top. By just a little bit more exchanges, a little bit more optimization on his hit confirms. Okay, what are they getting on from there? Dancing around each other. Oh, was able to uh, reverse it throughout that pressure. Just goes for the OTG into the media pressure. Oh, I'm not sure where that PRC came from. Maybe he wanted to throw a projectile. It came too early, but this is going to be a pickup into the wall splat. You dead, sir. You dead. You are deader than dead. You are deader than disco. And that was in the 70s, 80s, my friends. So <laughs> okay, but uh, needed game from Dealey in order to take the momentum back inside of that set. Very needed. Very needed. Oh, try to go for the throw, but the throw didn't work out. Okay. Calling out his favorite uh, Japanese culinary dish. That was a nice just block from there. Nice, nice jabs. But goes to the immediate burst from there. Both of them using their burst early. And they're going to come back in later rounds. But oh no, the whip, the regular DP into the heavier version of that deep. That's some gorilla stuff right there. That was some monk. Return to monk into the super, into the wall break. I'm surprised I didn't kill Chip there. Nice. Oh, and he backdashes the, the overhead attempt. That was the first time he went for that dust. So glad that Light Ice was able to avoid it. Goes into the grab. One more mix. Oh, and he jumps after it, but he's going to catch the backdash option. And he's looking good so far, man. D. Lee looking like he didn't just lose three games in a row. Good on him. The mental stack is not getting towards him. Back throw into the corner. Wiggles in. Sends him down. And this is going to be a full combo confirmed into the wall splat. Positive bonus, and this is gonna give him two sticks of butter since he's so close in that regard of bar so far. The blocks goes into the low. Oh, he needed to burst off of there. He would have had the uh, red RC confirmed. Oh, and this is uh, this basically gives me his end. PRC into the back. PRC phases over through him after he tried to go into the back turn setup. Six P into the check. Now this is all a chip damage. Oh, but he gets swept over. What's he gonna do? He goes into the DP. Nice. Dealy up two one. And as we can hear from the audience, he could have grabbed him on Wake Up. Unfortunately, he did not have that read. Aligns the cap. Oh, man. But there ain't no cap about this gameplay right over here, man. This is all true Guilty Gear action. Light Ice needs two more two more Ws in order to take this tournament out here. Trying to fight out of his loser's run. But this is why Ely was in Renners. He has this adjustment period. Checks over. Now he gets the check with that gap between the plus frames. Oh, okay. counter. He'll take that. That was a good trade right over there. It was a local pawn shot. Nice. Continues over. Goes into the wall frames. Ooh, does not get that wall splat that he wanted. Gets the counter off of the burst. Oh, gets over the cross up. Oh, try to do it again. It was a little bit too early, so it wasn't meaty. Ah, no one punish off of that. Never comes fairly quickly, even though it doesn't hit anybody on the ground. And nice confirms to the PRC into the two slash. 
and he is sitting on set point. D. Lee. Oh, off of the hit confirm. He did not confirm that big hit. Nice grab. He's been doing that. He's been going to that conditional setting. He wasn't prepared for more hands, so now he goes into it. Drop kick goes into the confirm. Stagger. Nice pressure. This is going to be wall. And of course, it's looking like Light Ice is round, but he has to win the game. That's what's most important. BRC backwards after he tried to go for the reverse. Anti air jab. Oh no, he didn't confirm into super. Why didn't he confirm into super? <laughs> this pressure is crazy. <laughs> Oh, he's still in back turn, though. He's still in back turn. Why is he pressing it? Why is he doing it? Oh, but he hits it off with the counter hit. Yeah. And that was a no. That was a. Uh, that was not a risky DP in order to do from there. I like how he checked him. Oh man. But Light Ice is looking so good. Not that he gets that jab. Uh, IAD check earlier. That was so good. This could be any components player. Dili is so close. He can win the tournament here. Or Light Ice can even it up two to two. It looks like he wants to even it up two to two. Back dashes. They both try to make their back dashes safe. But RC hits it. Oh, but he does have the meter for the drop kick, so he's not going to get much off of it. The whip punish, not enough. Has to defend properly. That hit from behind. Fun boxes. Gets hit. Tries to weather the storm that is chip. Oh, that button hit from far away. Oh, and that's going to be confirmed. He just got the bar, and that is going to be going into our 2-2 two to -two range, especially after the wall break. Good set. Good. Ah. Uh. It's not over yet. We got one last game at our Guilty Gear Grand Finals. Xanadu 454. Guilty Gear Strive Bracket. <sighs> oh, man. I need a break. Uh, these competitors need to go into it. Okay. As they're going back forward. Uh, thank you guys out here for watching. Uh, thank you guys up there in production. Everybody is going to be going out into the game as so far as he gets into the burst. Very exciting things. Oh, gets the drop kick from there. Not even the drop, just the boom. Resistor pressure. Goes into the dash back, but uh, not a good reversal. And now he's going to be eating 35%. Goes into the BRC for some reason. Ah, don't think that was a very good use of that meter in a sense. He's going to say that up into a last confirm. It's super if you wanted. Uh, but now, since he's staying uh, relatively non committal and walking backwards, he lost a little bit of chip. He's in negative penalty, which is challenging because he is controlling his position, but if he gets hit by a straight hit, especially since now he has a meter into the red RC, it could be dangerous. Ah, uh, Tricky Eddie back dashes again! Into the confirm. Ah, uh, last round for Light Ice. Can he bring this all the way back from loser's bracket? Is he going to be beating Dealey? I know Dealey has an answer to that. Uh, let's see if he can answer the test, though. Did he study correctly? Goes to the confirm. This is going to break breaking the wall. Positive bonus, hard knockdown. 50%, good position, runs up, jabs him out of there, no back dash for you, okay? Goes into the DP though, the risky stuff. He is getting the meter bonus, which is gonna be good. It's gonna be putting him in that pressure. Oh, he blocked the dust and that's gonna be a punish. Goes to the BRC, okay, this is what he wanted to do the last time. And that's gonna go into the break. Not as much damage, but positive bonus. He is gonna be needing the meter. Oh, and this is so dangerous because he has the damage starter. This is gonna be again. Double positive bonus? He's sitting on meter, and this is so dangerous. He needs to end this round now before he gets a bar, because now he can clean up mistakes. He does it again. Okay. Oh, nice burst. Oh, PRC, oh, PRC! It does not win punish him. Oh, tries to get the 6P, though. Chases him off, and he is going to even up the round. Last round, last game, Zenidu 454. Guilty Gear Strive Bracket. Who will win? I do not know whatsoever. These competitors are absolutely insane. Nice. Okay. Ah, oh, gets stuffed out of the anti-air attempt there. He was doing so good with those jab checks earlier. <sighs> All right, drop kick. Oh, no! He was anticipating the attempted whip punish, but he overexerted himself on the DP. Light Ice being a bit more patient. Goes into the optimal stuff. Wall flat into the super. Gets the hard knockdown and the positive bonus. Good. Just checks him over with the media. The solid stuff. And D. Lee, unfortunately, is cracking at the sails. And this is going to be a super again. And Light Ice is going to be... The, no, it's not. Oh, I didn't chat myself. One more hit, though. Ah. Ha. And you're Xanadu 454 champion. Light Ice. Congratulations, my friend. Very, very, very. And I emphasize on very good games. Coming back here, let's go into cardiac arrest. 
Time to duel here off of that crazy amount of games here, man. Are you guys entertained? Let me know in the Twitch chat if you guys enjoyed that so much. Uh, actually bringing out his final form, the Chip Zanoff. I know he's been experimenting with the Kai, but he, but he, but he's serious up. When Daily was there, he, and he was doing good. And Daily didn't do anything bad. Uh, he was just a little bit on behind on adjusting and tweaking his game slightly, uh, but he pulled the game out. Uh, but thank you guys for joining us for the Guilty Gear Strive portion of uh, Xanadu FGC Thursdays up here at Xanadu 424. I've been time to duel. You guys can reach some more uh, fighting game action up here on VG Bootcamp.